What's going on, people? Your boy KV back with another one. And I'm up here about to clean the Mustang out. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Just got to vacuum it out. But since we're up here with the Mustang today, I want to do a quick video. And in this video, I want to tell you probably the three first miles you do when you get this car, especially if you have the six speed, and three things that I kind of wish for would change with this model of the car. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing bad, don't get me wrong. It's just stuff that I would change on it. You know what I'm saying? And I think changing those, those three things and doing those three miles to this car, especially if you have the manual, would make this car so, so much better. So much better, you know. It's already a great car, don't get me wrong. But, you know, everything that's great can always use some improvement. And so, yeah, it just it looks good, man. So, the first thing, the first mile you should do, and this is regardless of if you have the automatic or the six-speed, it's up under the hood. It's going to be change the air filters. You know, go with the Steeler air filters. They improve the... Uh, the airflow in the car, they give you a way better throttle response, you know what I'm saying? And you pick up a little bit of horsepower. And they, they're fairly cheap. It's only like 150 for the, for both of them, you know what I'm saying? So doing that mod right there would definitely, you know what I'm saying, give you a little bit more pickup. Okay, these next two must-do modifications are going to be for the six-speed only. And the first one is going to be the clutch pedal extension. Because if you like me, I'm about five foot nine and a half, five foot ten. I like to sit farther back. And this right here helps you achieve a better driving position and a more comfortable riding position, you know, being able to sit farther back from the steering wheel and kind of stretch stretch the legs out more. You know, it gives you about, about an inch, inch and a half um, you know, more extension on the clutch, so you can sit back a little bit farther, you know what I'm saying? And this really helps you improves yourself because you can engage the clutch cleaner and the second modification i really can't get up there but i'm gonna see if i can get the camera to show you it's like right there you see right there okay you can see it that is the clutch spring assist and the one from the factory is so damn stiff that whenever you release the clutch or come off the clutch, it kicks back so hard that it actually it kicks your foot off and you can't really feel the engagement point. So it makes some of your shifts sloppy. This one modification, adding the Steeler clutch spring assist, a lighter spring, makes it more predictable. It, the clutch feel is still about the same. It might feel a little bit, it might take a little bit more to depress the clutch, but you won't tell it. But releasing the clutch is so much smoother. And it makes you shift so much better. You can predict more where the bike point is. You know what I'm saying? The clutch spring assist and the clutch uh, pedal extension, to me, are the first most due mods for the SS50 if you have a, um, a manual. You know what I'm saying? Because this, those two mods really improve the drivability of this car. You know what I'm saying? And now we're going to talk about three things that I would change if I was forward with the Mustang. This is one issue right here that I would change. Um, there's nothing wrong with the digital display. I love digi the digital display. But the one thing that gets me with Ford, you know, it's 2024, you know, come on Ford, let's up the 160, man. You know, give us something to hope for. Give us something to, to shoot for, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would love to see a speed armor at least 180, maybe even 200 on the dark horse, but the GT should get a speed armor that goes up to at least 180. You know what I'm saying? You know, most of the, the high performance cars, the speed on them is to say 180 or maybe even 200 miles per hour. I would love to see them update the Mustang to a speedo that does, you know, at least says at least 180. I think that it kind of, it kind of boosts your self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you see scat packs, they'll say like 180 and, and I would say like 160. It's kind of like, I guess it's an ego thing, but I would love to see the speed on them say 160. That's, that's one, uh, one of the things that I would definitely fix, you know, if I was full with the Mustang. Another thing I would change, uh, you know, with the with the new Mustangs, with all Mustangs, but you know, hopefully for to listen, is I would like to have the car start up in a default mode. 
like you can set it where if you want your car to start up normally in normal mode, but with the exhaust and track, if y'all understand what I'm saying, you know, instead of every time you start the car up, you have to go and change it to the mode you want it to be in and change the exhaust to what modes you want it to be in. I would like for it to be like a default mode where you can set it and the car always starts in that mode. You know what I'm saying? I know it's kind of nitpicky, but that's, it's just something that I would like to see them do on the Mustang. You just keep it in that mode all the time. You start the car up and go. You don't have to go toggle with nothing. You can just start it up in whatever mode you want and the exhaust be in whatever mode you want. And you can go on about your day and just enjoy the ride, you know what I'm saying? But that's another thing that I would, you know, fix with the Mustang or change, you know what I'm saying? And probably the third thing I would change with the Mustang, you know, the X650, would be this, man. Come on, Ford. You know, I can understand you do that for the automatic, the 10-speed, but when you get the manual, it should come with a, you know, the more traditional parking brake. Don't get wrong, the electronic parking brake is cool, but you know, when you buy the manual, you you buy it for the the retro feel, the classic, you know, you you buy that, you know, for that. And it should give you the more of the, the, the classic feel with the with the uh, standard looking parking brake instead of that right there, you know. It does the job, but it just kind of looks weird when you have a manual with that. You know, that's another thing that I would probably change with this model you know what i'm saying i know you can buy the performance pack and all those with the electronic you know parking brake slash drift brake thing but i think for all the manual it, that should be just a standard feature that more classic design with the parking brake okay those are some of the first models you should do the s650 especially if you have the six-speed manual and those are the three things that I would change if I was Ford with the Mustang. Or things I would like to see Ford change with the Mustang, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? I think those three things, especially if you have the manual, let me keep saying that, if you have the manual, I think doing those those three things to the car first would definitely make you enjoy the car more. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all stay tuned for more. Peace out.